tuning in. This is just a really quick tutorial on eyebrows and winged eyes. Um, Michelle requested this video, so shout out to Michelle. She wanted to know what would be a good tutorial on how to do winged eyeliner. Everyone has their own method. I particularly use gel liner and I finish off with liquid liner. Liquid liner is not necessary, it only if you want to intensify your black. Um, but that's what this video is basically on. It's on brows and liners. If there's any video that you want to see, be sure to leave comments down below. Or you can reach me on any of the social media platforms that I have listed below. Um, if you like this look I have on, I will do a video on it because it's very simple. You can do it, you can wear it every day outside. It doesn't have to be, you know, super glammed up. Just put on a popping lip and a winged eye. Make sure the brows are done and you're good to go. Here's a disclaimer. I know this intro is super duper long and I promise not to do this to you guys all the time, but because of this look, I will fair, give you fair warning now. The lipstick, you're not gonna be able to find it and if you do, you're gonna pay a lot of money for it on eBay or Amazon. I'm sorry, blame Mac. Mm -hmm. I put 100% blame on Mac. I bought this lipstick, well lip gloss, a couple years ago and I never used it. I kept it closed because I knew like one day I was gonna have the courage to wear it. It was an impulse buy. But I love it now and it's discontinued. But I will give you the name so you guys can feel free to look it up on your own. It is Bare Dare to Wear Lip Glass Mac and it's in the color. <laughs> Ban this. So this is what it looks like. I don't know. For all of you makeup junkies like me, you guys probably already know this when you see it. It came in pink, orange, and all this other stuff. But now I see that I've wasted a whole lot of time talking to you. Let's do it. Okay, guys. First, you don't have to do it. I do it. But you can go in with a spoolie brush and just even out your brows and make sure that they're all laying in the direction that you want them to go in. Then I'm going to reach for my BH Cosmetic Auto Brow Liner in the color black. I usually don't use black. I'm usually against using black as a brow liner, but this black isn't super duper intense. So as you can see, it looks natural. Please do not use a black eyeliner pencil to do your brows I'm so against it I'm gonna do a video on do's and don'ts and I will have products that you should use and you shouldn't but then again those are my opinions you can use whatever you like so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna do the same thing on this brow I'm just using small strokes to align my brow I'm not making my brows into any shape that they wouldn't naturally go in if you want to do your brows in different shapes let me know and I'll do a video and I'll try to get that out to you guys. But remember just small strokes in to fill in the sparse places. Go back in with your spoolie brush and blend out. Blending is always the key when you're doing makeup. This is optional as I say in all my videos. I'm using a light concealer and I believe an NW35 from MAC. It's the studio concealer that I always use. Going in, I'm going to blend it out with my finger and I'm going to do the same on the other side. This is totally optional. I do it because it makes the brow line look really clean and it gives me a light highlight under my brow bone. So just blend that out with your finger or your brush. Your fingers are always your best tool, so don't be afraid to use them. I'm going to go back on the top of my brow with that NC50 that I use religiously from MAC. Just gonna go on the outline the brow, and as you can see from me doing that, the brow looks really clean and precise. And blend it out with your finger or sponge or brush if you want to. I prefer my fingers, at least on my face. Do the same to that side, whatever you do, do one side, you kind of do it to the other, unless it's for Halloween makeup, then you know, pretty much you can do whatever you want onto the winged eye. There are many methods to do it. I use um, either liquid liner or gel liner. Gel is a little easier to work with because you can control the strokes a little better. 
um, you're gonna make that the first line I made is lined up with my bottom lash line and then you want to just make it you want to make that second line hit from the middle of that first line if that makes sense and then you want to do small strokes and just fill in because you're going to end up creating a triangle and you want to fill that in and just drag across to the inner corners of your eye in short strokes remember short strokes are easier to correct than long ones putting a little bit more product on my brush so I can do the other eye and you'll see I'm doing that line measuring it up with my bottom line and small strokes bringing it up I'm going to measure to make sure how far I did it I'm going to go back in with those small strokes again and then I'm taking the point of my angled brush and lining it up with the middle of that first stroke I did and then I'm just going to slowly bring it across to the inner corner of my eye. Do that slowly, it's easier to control. And then any mistakes that you see or imperfections, you can always go back in with small strokes and correct it. The next option I'm going to do is totally optional. You don't have to do it, but I usually, once I finish, I'll go in with the liquid liner and do any corrections I need to. But I must warn you, do not overwork your eye. Some mistakes that you make can only be seen by you. And that's what I'm going to say. You know, you can't make them absolutely perfect, but they will look good. And just be happy with them. Don't overwork them because you'll end up making them look worse. And you'll have to start completely over. See, I'm just going in with my black liner and filling in some places that I don't think are as dark. And I just want to make that black more intense. Going into my tight line with it. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. And I can correct anything that I see wrong. I can make the wing a little longer with the liquid. For my water line, I'm not using the gel or the liquid. I'm going in with the pencil. And it's a 24 hour Ruby Kisses waterproof liner. Then I'm going to finish it off with some mascara from Benefit Cosmetics and it's the Curling Mascara. I'm going to put the name of the products down below like I always do just in case you guys want to go out and try it. So there you have it, brows and winged eyes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to thumbs up the video and remember sharing is caring. See you guys soon. Bye.